Hello, my captains, and welcome now to Hump Day. Sunny and chatty, or super pensive today for the Capricorns. The moon is in Aquarius, and the moon is the ruling planet of the day. Now, with the moon in Aquarius, your emotions are reflecting on your productivity. So you're emotionally picking up again today on self-esteem, soul capital. That is your spiritual abundance, which turns into your material abundance. You're emotionally empowered and picking up on your value system today. This is an excellent day to invest in something valuable, to put your heart into manifestation, put your heart into raising your soul capital. But a lot of what your emotions are talking about today directly affects your attitude. We're in chapter two of Sun in Pisces. The moon is a ruling planet, which means the moon is our teaching agent of the day. So our emotions are teaching us. So how does self-esteem play into your overall attitude? How does money play over into your attitude? How does self-confidence play over into your attitude? And how do your attitudes affect the other? That's the real question today. Today we are exploring our options when it comes to taking on the right attitude. So today, your emotions around money, soul capital, productivity are all giving you insight as to the way you should intellectually respond to these situations. If you find yourself super excited about the potential, what are you thinking about? What's your attitude of your mind? What kind of conversation are you having with yourself? If you find yourself going to the dark side of the moon and worrying about money, how does that affect your attitude? Does your attitude try to bring you out of the worry? Or does your attitude or your thoughts aid and abed to the worry? This is what you want to pay attention to because we want to come up with the perfect attitude by the end of this transit. And it's Wednesday. Oh, no, one more thing. Venus. Venus has also moved into Aquarius. So the good news here is you have love and creativity pouring into your soul capitalism as of tomorrow. Today Venus is zero degrees, so we're not quite feeling it. But no matter where you are when it comes to your soul capital, Venus is here for at least a month to help you restore balance and order to the situation. Time to heal from soul capital wounds. Time to build and cultivate your self-esteem and your productivity. And this, with Venus in this space, is the most fertile time of the year for Capricorns to manifest. All right, so when Venus is in the second house, you are very fertile for manifestation. I would definitely start a project or start anything that will lead to a return on your investments. And it's Wednesday. We have Skip Janik's Urban Mystic going live today. Today, Skip is going to get really deep on two Pisces issues. One, the dream realm. How do our dreams affect our reality? Big part of Pisces. And ancient wisdom. Pisces is the subconscious state of awareness. Our ancient wisdom is stored in our subconscious. How do we access that? How do we go about it? Skip's going to answer those questions along with an affirmation and a seven-day challenge. Don't miss Skip. He's live everywhere the garden is blooming. All right, Captain, that wraps up today. Tomorrow, our emotions tell us a lot from the other side. Until tomorrow, live, love, be. So garden.